It's Flag Day, and these veterans wanted to mark it in a different way, wanted to draw attention to an issue that they say is a matter of life and death. They held signs in front of the VA hospital in Marion. Veterans and others determined to be seen and heard. So we need to send a message that this is the answer to get us out of the epidemic problem that we're in. The opioid crisis, which has hit veterans especially hard. My goal is to stop the opioid addictions, to stop the opioids that they're given at this hospital where I go to. Terry Chambers organized the rally. I was on uh, 240 oxycodone for 21 years and Valium. A world of hurt, he says he cut the painkillers and turned to cookies made from marijuana, even though it could land him in jail. Well, if, I don't have any choice. I mean, if I stop, my blood pressure will go crazy, and you will know, either have a stroke or a heart attack. Terry, you got to go a little bit more. So on this flag day, Please. just make sure it's as straight as possible. Veterans right there. turn to the flag, hoping a picture Stand back a little bit. would capture the urgency. Ready? One, two, three. They stood behind it, and the state flag both turned upside down. If you see a flag, a U.S. flag, flying upside down, that is a distress call or a May Day. And they bowed their heads. So that's my best friend that passed away, and she was also a Navy veteran. Iraq War veteran Nicole Kapasinski knows the pain of opioid addiction all too well. These are my friends that I grew up with, so not only did I have to come home from one war where people were, you know, needless loss of life, but then my friends. She and others here say they're in favor of an alternative. I'm off 12 med medications, um, and I am healing through medical cannabis. Now, they're posting that picture online, hoping it goes viral, hoping it gets people's attention and has them actually talking about something other than the flag. In Marion, Mary Mills, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Mary. Medical marijuana is legal in 29 states and Washington, D.C. Those states include three of our bordering states, Illinois, Michigan, and also Ohio.